What is happening there, Reject Nation? Greg here today, holding down the fort still while John is out of commission, recovering from surgery for getting a knuckle sandwich to his teeth. That's why he was missing one. Get it, Knuckles? It's a family-friendly joke for this family-friendly movie. Guys, we got ourselves a Sonic the Hedgehog 2 final trailer. I'm excited to watch this, man. I thought the first trailer was awesome. It looks way more exciting and cinematic already. You gotta be trapped in here with me for just a tiny bit longer, I promise. And yeah, if you guys can hit the like button, that'd be very much appreciated. Anywho, let's see this. Let's see this thing. All right, fine, you can go. These rings signify the commitment. So help me, Thomas! Sorry, sorry. Life or death situation, I need you to use the ring to save me. Like, right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wedding wrecked. Ah, uh, Hawaii. I just hope we are not too late. Oh, Lord, there are two of them now. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> okay, quick version. Robotnik is back. I discovered the source of ultimate power. Master Everett. We need to get it back or the world is doomed. You brought some kind of... Space porcupine. I am an echidna warrior. Ooh, badass, man. Hmm. Hedgehog. It's time to say goodbye to humanity. Oh, shit. To the new norm. Oh, what? It's oh. a new moment to be the big hero. <laughs> Bad time to say this, but I don't actually have a plan. Hey, you got a little something on your... Uh, buddy. Someone call an Uber? It's cold in here. Let's turn up the heat. Hi. Oh, awesome. Oh, so it's not a skateboard, is it? Uh, snowboard, is it? She's one of the pieces, that's cool. Oh, great, the Winter Soldier. Fear not, citizen. You are terrible at this. Your negative attitude is not helping. We stick together, no matter what. That looks pretty imposing, whoa. Hang on. Untrained. Unworthy. You forgot one. Unstoppable. Shit. And die. Knuckles, you are really bad at punching. They're watching a DBZ fight. Man, that death egg looks insane. I love that imposing shot where he's just like this big shadow with the red eyes at the top. That looks so good. This looks so much better than the first one. I overall enjoyed the first one, but this looks like a major step up. You know what that last part kind of reminded me of? Tell me if this flashed to your mind at all. Do you remember the episode of Pokemon when Pikachu fought Raichu? and Raichu just kept like beating his ass and then Pikachu had to realize that he could outspeed him while Raichu was more powerful. That's kind of what I thought of there. DBZ versus the Pikachu versus Raichu fight where it seems like Knuckles obviously more powerful. However, Sonic might be able to outstrategize him and outspeed him because he's clearly like dodging him a bunch. Just a little food for thought. Anyway, yeah, this trailer just gave me some more of what I loved about the first one. It's exciting, it's thrilling. The word that weirdly keeps coming to mind for me is it just looks so much more cinematic. Uh, the peril actually feels really felt. One of those shots in there was so ominous. The death egg where it's like this big looming shadow over Sonic. It's really threatening and imposing. The red eyes and that's all that's really colorful about that silhouette shot of the death egg. At the very bottom you see like Sonic. He's like limping his way. He's really worn out and tired and just beaten down. Limping towards the emerald. He's all like dirtied up. Just seems like 
like it's gonna be a real struggle for Sonic. Something that the first trailer seemed to lean in on was how Sonic was, you know, trying to be more of a hero right now. And I'm kind of curious what his journey here might be because like in the first one, a lot of it dealt with like run away from your problems, now face your problems. And, and then here, I'm sort of curious to see like what Sonic's arc ultimately might be, what emotional challenges behold him at this particular moment in time. Because a popular theory going around and I'm wondering if it's gonna be infused in here at all. And like, I haven't read a single damn leak about this movie. So I don't know if there's any leaks out there about it, but a popular theory because like when you're in Angel City, if I'm not mistaken, in Angel City where Knuckles and Sonic are versing each other, all those statues are resembling Longhawk who we didn't see die at the beginning of the first Sonic movie, but she still sacrificed herself, so it wasn't an on-screen death. She could very much be alive. And a common theory that I'm hearing is like maybe the Echidna went after Longhawk because she's somehow connected to the Master Emerald in, in some way. I don't really know like the ins and outs or details of why that would line up, but then you see all this owl imagery, and I feel like you gotta bring that back. You gotta bring that back home. Like, why was Longhawk really protecting Sonic? I really wanna see that be more fleshed out. And perhaps, you know, especially with establishing the trailer that Knuckles is an echidna warrior that he might learn something of like you're the people who killed my mom or the one who protected me like he might have some type of revenge vengeance driven motive of vengeance he might, have, he might have some type of like revenge motive because of how serious he seems to be taking it how personal this seems to really be for him and then you got these moments here with Dr. Robotnik that also threw me for a loop a little bit I know there's been some TV spots that are out there I haven't seen them so I don't know how much of this is completely brand new but for me it's been pretty new when you're looking at Dr. Dr. Robotnik, when he's coming out of this shop, it looks like he's, because from my understanding, feel free to correct me, because I'm, I'm by no means a, a self-proclaimed Sonic expert. I thought like with the Master Emerald, that that power would be used solely for his machinery. Something along the lines were just like the death egg, right? And then here, it looks like somehow his body was managed to like draw some power from it or fuse with it or in interface with it in some way. Like, I don't really know how he's doing any of that, but that looks cool. That looks sinister. It would seem like the plot of this would probably go something like this when it comes to what the finale might be. And if it is this case, I'm so glad they're not showing it in the trailers because they're really letting it seem like, A, you got Knuckles and Dr. Robotnik going after Sonic. That seems to be like, they're keeping it the focus. I imagine at some point here, Knuckles and Sonic, I don't like BVS or any of these like versus movies, and Knuckles and Sonic would eventually come to some kind of understanding and then Knuckles would see that he's sided with the wrong person. He sided with Dr. Robotnik, the one he shouldn't be with. And then they, along with Tails, would be fighting Dr. Robotnik at the end of this movie while he's in the Death Egg. Like, Sonic looks like he cannot take on the Death Egg by himself, so he would probably need some help, and I imagine he would get it from Knuckles and Tails, have them in the movie, and then the sequel, you would get that, you know? And then set up Shadow Sonic. I'm sure I think a lot of people really want that. And with, like, having uh, the gun army involved in here, I feel like they're establishing some little seeds for getting Shadow Sonic. Sonic to get involved in this franchise now. I mean, like, I'm loving the action scenes. I'm loving everything that we're seeing, the expansions of it. I feel like calling this final trailer is a relief because I think this is plenty. This is enough. And it still looks like funny, you know? Like, it doesn't look hilarious, but it still looks funny and charming and, like, very amusing. It still feels like a family friendly movie while being something that even more adults can enjoy. One thing, though, that I'm hoping is just so strong and reserved for the movie because it's going to be such a highlight. I'm hoping it's a highlight. Sometimes, and this is like a minor critique, more of a nitpick more than anything else, they don't really showcase. Tales so much, or at least I don't feel like they're really promoting Tales all that much. I want to get like a better sense of the, the chemistry between Sonic and Tails because sometimes when I'm watching the trailer, it really feels like someone in a voiceover booth talking. Like I'm not feeling the chemistry between them when that's such a vital part. I really hope that that really clicks because while I'm sure it's going to be good and fine, I want it to be something that you walk away from this movie going, hey, that's Sonic and Tails, man. They were, they were a great duo. They were really fun together. But anyway, yeah, this is a great trailer. <laughs> It's just as strong as the first one, even better, actually. Thanks for being here, guys. Appreciate you sticking around with me. And uh, hey, subscribe, leave a like button. Last but not least, do a I'm Maria Hammond, I just want to shout you out and give you a real sincere one right now. I posted some video the other day and uh, you sent me a message on Twitter that uh, I, I thought was like very, like it put me at ease. It, it made me feel really calm. At the time, I really needed to read that. So I just want to say uh, thank you for um, being honest with me and expressing that because that truly did, um, you know, it made me feel made me feel relaxed. <laughs> and for, to go from anxious to feeling relaxed is just a, a real gift. So I want to thank you for just 
all the support that you've been giving us and for opening up your heart to me in so many ways. Like you're, you're a real gem, you're a real joy. You're my master emerald there, Titan and Sonic. Love you, dear, thank you.